Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic are word problems, dealing with adding and subtracting fractions. And we have six examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one is adding fractions. It says the doggy bakery uses one fourth cup of flour for making a batch of dog treats and two thirds cup of flour for making a batch of biscuits. How much flour is used for both products? So we're going to add together one fourth plus two thirds. Since the denominators are not alike, we're going to need to find a common denominator. So four and three, if I list the multiples of four and three and just count by four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and count by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, I see that 12 is the first multiple that's in both lists. So 12 is going to be my common denominator. Now I need to rename my fractions by multiplying by a form of 1. So I'm going to ask the question, what times 4 gives me 12? And that's 3. So I will multiply by the form of 1, 3 over 3. 3 times 1 is 3, and so 1 fourth will be renamed as 3 twelfths. I'm going to do the same thing with 2 thirds. 3 times what number gives me 12? And that's 4. So I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 4 over 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. Now since I have a common denominator or common name, all I have to do is add the numerators. 3 twelfths plus 8 twelfths will give me 11 twelfths. Add the numerators, keep the same denominator. 11 twelfths can't be reduced, and so the amount of flour used for both products will be 11 twelfths cups. Problem number two is subtracting fractions. It says Cypress spent 5 six hours on Tuesday and 1 third hour on Thursday training for the dog agility competition. How many more hours were spent training on Tuesday then on Thursday. So I'm going to subtract 5 sixths minus 1 third. Since 6 is a multiple of 3, I know my least common denominator is going to be 6. If I have two numbers and they're multiples of one another, you pick the higher multiple and that will always be your least common denominator. Since I kept the same denominator of 6 in the first fraction, I'll keep the same numerator of 5. For the second fraction, I'm going to rename it 3 times what number is 6, and that's 2. So I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 2 over 2, and 2 times 1 is 2. That becomes my new numerator. And so now I have 5 sixths minus 2 sixths. I'll subtract the numerators. 5 minus 2 is 3, and keep the same denominator, 6. And then I can see if I can reduce it. 3 and 6 both have a factor of 3, so I'm going to reduce it by the form of 1, 3 over 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And so I know that Cypress spent a half hour more training on Tuesday than on Thursday. Problem number 3 is adding fractions. It says Cypress bought 5 eighths pounds of cinnamon dog treats and 1 sixth pound of honey dog treats. How many pounds of treats did she buy all together? Altogether indicates addition, so I'm going to add 5 eighths plus 1 sixth. And now I need to find a common denominator. So I'm going to list some multiples of 8, which is basically count by 8s. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. I usually list about 5. And then I'm going to list multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, and I notice 24 is the first multiple that's the same in both lists. So that will become my common denominator. Now I'm going to rename my fractions. 8 times what number gave me 24? That was 3, so I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 3 over 3. 3 times 5 then will be 15. So 5 eighths is renamed as 15 24ths. I'm going to do the same thing with 1 sixth. 6 times what number is 24? That's 4, so I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 4 over 4. 
Remember, multiplying by 1 will not change the value, but it will change the look of it. My new numerator, 1 times 4, is 4. Now that I have the same denominator or same name, I can add 15 24 plus 4 24 by adding the numerator, 15 plus 4 is 19, and keeping the same name or same denominator of 24. And now I need to see if I can reduce that. 19 and 24 do not have any factors in common. And so I know Cyprus bought 19 24 pounds of dog treats all together. Problem number four is subtracting mixed numbers. It says, is a five and three quarter mile drive to the dog park and a three and one sixth mile drive to the pet store. How many miles further is it to the dog park than the pet store? So how many miles further indicates the subtraction? And we're gonna take five and three fourths and subtract three and one sixth. To subtract mixed numbers, I like to change them into fraction form, what's called an improper fraction, meaning the numerator is higher than the denominator. So I'll multiply four times five, which is 20, and add three, that will be 23, and put it back over four, minus, I'll multiply six times three, which is 18, and add one, which is 19, and put it back over six. Now I'm going to have to find a common denominator. So I'm going to list some multiples of four, which means count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and I usually list about five, and then I'll count by sixes. Six, 12, 18, oh, I see 12 is in both lists. So 12 will be my common denominator. Then I'm going to have to rename the numerators. So I'm going to ask what number times four gives me 12, and that's three. So I'm gonna multiply by the form of one, three over three. Three times 23 is 69, and so 23 fourths is renamed as 69 over 12. Then I'm going to ask what number times six gives me 12, and that's two, so I'm gonna multiply by the form of one, two over two. So two times 19, gives me 38, so 19 over six, renamed 38 over 12. Now that my denominators are alike, all I have to do is subtract the numerators. 69 minus 38 is 31 over 12. Subtract the numerators, keep the same denominator. And now I can rename that back into mixed number form. I'm going to take 12 and I'm going to divide it into 31. That goes in two full times. Two times 12 is 24. And when I subtract those, I get seven. I have a remainder of seven over 12. So 31 over 12, 12 divides into 31 two full times, and I have left over seven out of 12. That means it's two and seven twelfths miles further to the dog park than it is to the pet store. Problem number five is adding mixed numbers. It says on Monday, Cyprus walked four and two fifths miles, and on Wednesday, she walked three and seven tenths miles. How many miles has she walked in total for this week? So the words in total indicate the addition, and I'm going to add together four and two fifths plus three and seven tenths. Like the last problem, I'm going to change these into fractions. Four times five is 20, plus two is 22 fifths, plus 10 times three is 30, plus seven is 37 back over 10. And now I have to find a common denominator in order to add them. Since 10 is a multiple of five, and it's larger, I know that both of my denominators are going to be 10. That's a simple trick to find a common denominator. If the two denominators are multiples of one another, you just pick the larger multiple. So now I'm going to rename the numerators. Five times what number is 10, and that's two, so I'm gonna multiply by the form of one, two over two. Two times 22 is 44, so 22 fifths is the same thing as 44 tenths. In the second fraction, the denominator did not change, so the numerator won't change. I'll keep that as 37. Now, I can add together my numerators, 
and just keep the same denominator. 44 plus 37 is 81 over 10, 81 tenths, and then I can rewrite that as a mixed number. 10 divided into 81, 8 full times, 8 times 10 is 80, and when I subtract, I find I have a remainder of 1 out of 10. So 81 tenths, 10 divides into 81, 8 full times, and I have a remainder of 1 out of 10. That means that for this week, Cyprus has walked a total of 8 and 1 tenths miles. Problem number six is subtracting mixed numbers. It says Cyprus is using ribbon to make dog bows. She has seven and three-fifths yards of red ribbon and cuts off two and a half yards to make the bows. How many yards of red ribbon does she have left? So does she have left indicates that we're going to be subtracting. So I have seven and three-fifths yards minus two and one-half yards. And like we did before, we're going to rewrite these as fractions. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 38 back over 5, so 38 fifths, minus 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 halves. And now I need to find a common denominator in order to subtract them. Since 5 and 2 are both prime numbers, all you have to do is multiply the two numbers together. So 5 times 2 is 10. That's a trick for finding a common denominator. If the two numbers are prime numbers, multiply them together and you'll always have your least common denominator. Now I'm going to rename the numerators. 5 times what number is 10? Well, obviously it's 2, so I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 2 over 2. So my new numerator, 2 times 38, is 76. So 38 fifths is the same thing as 76 tenths. For the second fraction, 2 times what number is 10? That was 5, so I'm going to multiply by the form of 1, 5 over 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. So 5 over 2 is the same thing as 25 over 10. And now all I have to do is subtract. 76 tenths minus 25 tenths, I'll subtract the numerators. 76 minus 25 is 51, and we put that back over 10. And now I can rewrite that in mixed number form. 10 divides into 51 how many times? 5 full times will give me 50, and when I subtract, I have a remainder of 1 out of 10. So 51 over 10, 10 divides into 51 5 full times, and I have a remainder of 1 out of 10. So that means Cyprus has 5 and 1 tenth yard of red ribbon left. So that's it. Six examples of adding and subtracting fraction word problems worked out step by step. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll try to help you out. And as we say at Math Dogs, you got this.